Well, there's a reason Pace is ranked number 15th in the country for a reason, and this is why. They're just coming off of a three-game road trip where two of their three games featured wins. That was against St. Rose 15-3, and they were at Assumption on Wednesday 13-8. And another face-off won by, the state, by Pace. They have been able to pick up five of the six face-off attempts so far in this first quarter. All the more reason why they have not allowed a single goal to the Yellow Jackets yet. And working there on the left side, it'll be Rodriguez. He'll get his set as he got over to Marcus Adoviano. Now making his move, Alex Sensi. And around the back of the cage, Varys looking for, sh looking for someone to set up a pass. He's being very patient with, hap with most of the shot clock gone by. He was able to get over to... Ottaviano and it went off of the net and it was inside despite the bounce and it did go past day and that will go down as a goal what a very impressive shot most would assume that that wouldn't be there just barely but Bao was probably speeding up enough and it took a real nice bounce off of the inside of the net 6 nothing pace Oliviano, the sophomore attack from Ontario, Canada. And he's been looking good coming into this contest. That is just his fifth goal of the year. And what a time to shine. As another face-off, once again, is Pace. And this time, it's Terrence Day with the pickup. Pace with a good-looking first quarter so far. Trying to use the momentum they have, especially... When they're looking to get themselves into tournament play once it comes on Wednesday. All teams are eligible this season. Paces right now has the 6th best conference record in the Northeast 10. But only the top 5 seeds gain a first round bye. So with Pace working towards it, Sensei finding Varys. He'll get it over to Singleton. Takes a shot that went nearly up high, but Day picks it up. Good part on Singleton, put a nice bit of reaction defensively on Day's part. Allowing six goals so far, one of his brightest spots in this contest, despite the 6-0 deficit for his team. Yellow Jackets once again back in the other side of the 50. Jason Vickery with the ball. Working it inside the 20, right near the right side of the net. So you got Tyler Shrewsbury, who went over to the left. He looked to try to take a shot that went wide, but it will be scooped up by Rusty Stone. With 40 on the shot clock. Amaral, as he works it up now against Rodriguez. Falling down, he still working hard as the ball was nearly out of his stick, but he gets it back. They're able to keep a good, clean Jab. And so with a little shot over to Shrewsbury that went wide. A fight for it that is picked up by Vickery. It's getting rattled around, but it goes right into the sticks of Rusty Stone. With only five on the shot clock. And they're out to hurry. Amaral, far away from the net. It was hit around with no fly called. And for the second time in this first quarter, Pace is able to force a shot clock violation. And now the refs have thrown the flag. And then immediately picks it back up. So with one boy, one left to go. Pace keeping up their 6-0 lead. Thank you for joining us today at Pace Stadium for a beautiful day of men's lacrosse. The Pace Setters taking on the American International College Yellow Jackets in both teams' regular season finale. So as both teams are resetting, with the apparent look that Pace has possession of the ball, which is Aaron, which is true because of how they were able to force the vi shot clock violation on the Yellow Jackets. So as they get themselves set up now, Walker Azaro, he gets his way over to Singleton working on a cage. Cairo 
Get it over to Singleton, and he goes lower right hand against Day. Alex Singleton now. already shining Singleton. big. That's a hat trick for him, and it's 7 0 pace. Just 127 left to go. A beautiful first quarter performance so far on the setter's part. They nearly had themselves a tough game at Assumption, but the 15th best team in the nation is putting up a clinic. They want to use this momentum and confidence of theirs once they get themselves into tournament play. And there's a strong possibility that we'll be seeing both of these teams play here again on Wednesday. So with another face-off won by the Setters, it's Maxwell Streety with it. And he tried to get the pass over to Igazarian. It was wide, but Igazarian able to eventually pick it up. Now Montfront is still working around near the right side of the net. Nearly a stick by Beatty. Now Singleton over to Varys in the back of the cage. He'll set up. 53 gone by and the shot clock. Joseph Diggle with it. He'll work it along the end zone in the back of the cage. Going around the right side and then out to the back for Singleton. Making a fake was Caputo. And he'll go for the shot. And that one is as good too. A lot of nice fire. Caputo, he's getting himself well known in this game. 8-0 with only 38 seconds left to go in the first quarter.